For over 26 years, Vasif Talibov has ruled Nakhchivan with an iron fist. During his time in power, prisoners have been beaten and subjected to various forms of torture. Dissidents have been forcibly committed to mental institutions. He has also used his power to silence independent media. Journalists and activists who criticize Talibov's rule face pressure and arrest, or are forced to move abroad. Vasif Talibov'un böyle fedakar amaklarının etrasında bile gözelliklerin şahidi olur. Talibov's official annual salary is less than 26,000 US dollars. His sons have low-paying government jobs. Rıza is an official with the Migration Service, while Seymour is a member of Nakhchivan's regional parliament. Vasif Talibov's marriage to Sevil Sultanova was an opportunity for him to attain power. The high-ranking Soviet official Haydar Aliyev was the uncle of Sultanova's mother. In the 1990s, while the Soviet Union was collapsing, Aliyev returned from Moscow to Nakhchivan. With no other place to stay, he temporarily moved into Talibov's two-room apartment. The following year, Aliyev repaid Talibov for the kindness he had shown him. When Aliyev was elected chairman of the Nakhchivan parliament, he appointed the approximately 30-year-old Talibov as his top aide. In a later interview, Aliyev said that he had thought privately that the job would prove too difficult for someone so young. However, Talibov proved that a person dedicated to their homeland, their nation, and their people can accomplish a lot, regardless of their age. On Talibov's 60th birthday, the news agency Nukhchi Khan described him as a great patriot, determined, bold, and a humanitarian, as well as an extremely modest person. Internationally, the headlines are a bit different. They tend to focus on the harsh regulations dictated by Talibov's government. Local residents are required to read Hemingway, hanging laundry to dry on balconies is banned, and state employees are banned from wearing patterned tights. Such regulations have earned Nakhchivan several nicknames. Opposition activists call it Azerbaijan's North Korea, while international organizations have dubbed it Azerbaijan's Dark Island. During a trip to Arakhchivan, a U.S. diplomat referred to the region in a cable to Washington as Talibov's Khanate. New leaked documents show that the brothers Raza and Seymour Talibov have opened several accounts with foreign banks, and while the population of Nakhchivan has been suffering under their father's authoritarian rule, they have accumulated over 20 million US dollars through suspicious money transfers. Through offshore front companies that form part of the large-scale money laundering mechanisms revealed by OCCRP, the Azerbaijani laundromat and Troika, Numerous money transfers were made to banks belonging to the Talibov brothers. A financial crime expert who analyzed the transactions said that there is reason to believe they are suspicious, and this should have been noticed by the banks. In the following years, the Talibov brothers acquired properties in Dubai and Georgia worth 63 million US dollars. They also received through these accounts a one-time transfer of 500,000 US dollars, as well as regular transfers of incredibly large amounts. The descriptions for the transfers went from metal to metal parts and electrical equipment. By the end of 2012, the brothers had received up to 20 million US dollars. Talibov's son acquired their millions through the large-scale money laundering schemes revealed earlier by OCCRP, the Azerbaijan and Troika laundromats. Those investigations showed that Azerbaijan's elites, including President Ilham Aliyev's niece, benefited from these mechanisms. Now, the president's relatives by marriage, 
the influential Talibo family can be added to that famous list. The data available gives no indication as to how the Talibo spent their money, but soon after the transactions began, expenditures followed. The millions transferred to the family's bank accounts were discovered in some of the largest financial institutions in several countries, including Emirates NBD, Barclays, and Credit Suisse. These institutions either denied the allegations or stated that they could not provide any information about individual clients. In 2018, Reza Talibov founded a bank with his mother and nephew, as well as several business people. Four years later, when the laundromat transactions reached their peak, Reza brought two neighboring buildings in Georgia's seaside resort city of Batumi. Later, those buildings were turned into five-star hotels. Along with Reza and Seymour Talibov, their sister Bahar Khanum Talibova acquired nearly one million US dollars through the laundromat companies. Subsequently, among their numerous properties in Dubai, the family bought a luxury villa, a 12-story hotel, and some individual apartments. In total, their properties have been valued at 63 million US dollars. The strangling of Nakhchivan by the Talibos is not merely a political issue. The family is believed to dominate the economy in Nakhchivan, and experts say that they limit imports, push competitors out of business, and even force local residents to harvest their crops. According to a source from Nakhchivan who has immigrated, a number of food products are sold in the region under the Gemigaya Holding brand, which is owned by the Talibo family. Gemigaya Holding has also participated in the construction and renovation of public buildings, including ministry buildings, hospitals, universities, and mosques. None of these extravagant properties are represented on the brothers' social media accounts. Unlike the children of some other leaders of authoritarian regimes, Seymour and Ruza avoid sharing their conspicuous wealth on social media, instead writing about their love for their homeland, their father's successes, and their loyalty to President Aliyev. Last year, when sharing a quote by Aliyev on his Twitter account, Reza Talibov seemed to want to stress the modesty and humbleness of the regime. In all caps, Reza shared the quote, Our traditions, our values, and our way of life is our wealth. He didn't mention the rest of his wealth.